and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Show, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical You're therapist. You're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Today, Bob. Brad, we're going to talk about three positions most people with back pain love. And this is uh, something that we've seen over our 50-some years plus years of uh, experience in working with back patients. Um, and, and one of them I don't really understand, but for whatever reason, it works. Right. And it's not up to under us to understand everything, is it, Bob? <laughs> That's right. It'd we, be nice, but we're, we're only human. All right. Let's move on. In case you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. You do have the sign. I've got it, Bob. Also, you're going to want to join us on our social media channels because we're always giving something away. Isn't it cool, Brad? Oh, yeah. Uh, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to our giveaway section or go to Facebook. It's always pinned to the top of the page. Or, you know, go to Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. And so... But right away, right now, we're giving away the Renfo foot massager. This thing is fantastic, boy! I tell you, if you've got two feet, uh, even if you only got one, yeah, it, it, this thing is gonna make it feel good. So yeah, you stick your feet in there, you turn it on, and there's different levels of massage, and it gets the whole foot and it puts a little compression on there for swelling as well. Right. All right, Bob. Let's talk about uh, the back issue. That all right. We're... Position number one, um, and you can attest to this one, Brad. You really love this one. You use the leg wedge. Oh yeah. Um, you can let maybe I should, should first in case people want to buy anything you can do it with a chair right so it's just a a ninety ninety position basically right but you're gonna have to be able to get down to the you're floor you're gonna go down or you want me oh, to oh you go ahead yeah yeah you go I got the stripes that might show that hip and knee position sure. so you gotta be able to get on the floor and with back pain sometimes that's a great thing to do because it keeps you nice and straight it actually works better if you're up uh, on a furniture. Like this, why don't we just do it on there? Where it's soft, or well, but you can use a chair like this too. Well, when you're taller like me, I see. I I would have gone like this, Brad. What? I would have gone like oh, this. Bob's always thinking. Yeah, that is nice, sir. So you know, now we're looking pretty comfortable. He's got the. It's just the heels are extending off the edge. Yeah. It puts the back. The 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 joints aren't jamming together in this way. They're slightly open but not enough to give you any problems. Right, he's talking so. about the facet joints between each vertebra. Yeah. I can feel that open up right there right so, now. So, Brad, what do you normally do in this position? You, you often use an ice pack while you're in this position? Right, exactly. I'll put a cold pack right here. Um, but I really like the leg wedge for me is much better than this, but this is definitely a step in the right direction. Or, well, let's, ju let's jump right up into the leg wedge, yeah. Brad. I just want to, you know, you, this is how Oh. You, you can do this too. Sure. But, yep. I, yeah, so... We, I want to present all the options, Bob. Well, you can when you're laying down in bed. You could put pillows underneath you, too, but they just don't do the same job. Uh, as yeah, it helps, but it's a... We, is... we just, again, we have found people, they like the, the, the feeling that this goes along the thigh. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to show you one... You ready? One problem, though, yeah. Okay. If you're really tall like me, my legs extend almost too far over. Yeah. Yeah, um, in your case, it seems to fit pretty well. It'd be nice if it was even a little bit longer. Right. But so we're talking about the length from here to here. Right. Right. And on this, so I'll give you the dimensions of this one. It's eight inches high. It's 16 inches from here to here. And it's 24 inches from here to here. Right. So, yep. um, again, if you're, I don't know if they have, I, I don't even know what the, dimensions are if they have some of the other ones well some of them the they give you the dimensions depend on on the manufacturer but th those are the dimensions and i would if the 16 inch one of course the 24 they're related if you can get them longer than that definitely get that right you'll find it pull your better. shirt down oh Brad. my like, goodness okay it's a family show so again uh Br brad even sleeps this way you'll wake up after a couple hours and then take it out but right uh, you even start in this position right. so and i only do that when my back is flared up because maybe i've done something on doing some yard work i knew yeah. i shouldn't have did but you know sometimes you do the silly brad thing. has spondylolisthesis right. uh, grade two Right, it's between one and a half and two. I always say two because it sounds sure. better. So, but e even if you have a sciatica or just regular back pain, this is definitely something to try. You might try a couple pillows first just to see if it sure. gives you some relief yep. and then work on that. Okay, next one, Brad. Okay. Uh, why don't you stay right where you're at? I'm going and to. This is one that I think is nice to actually use oh. in the bed or even in, on your couch. Let's say you're going to watch TV. Instead of taking a bunch of pillows, 
And, oh, sure. Y- you know what I mean. I, I do. Well, well if you took a bunch of pillows and, and got into a bad position here, basically. Yeah, you stack them and up. you're like this. See how the back is rounded? It's not in good posture. It's hard to even breathe that way, Bob. Right. So in this case, we put it like this. And, um, <sighs> yeah, it's a lot more comfortable. You, I, I guess you'd still probably need a pillow to see the TV, huh? Sure. Yep. You'll know. Yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll know. The idea is that we're not flex like this which some people i think no or the back is in flex that's that's the right. big thing here yeah. so so this is firm it's got that nice angle in there it's different than pillows Much now better. this is uh 10 inches high and it's about 25 inches long is, is this particular one and i get a little they, they probably have variety on those too you know yeah if you're taller than six foot you'll want longer dimensions than that and you could use a roll towel oh. um, in your low back along with this um, and, and see how that feels. That might give you a little more relief. Um, but uh, Oh, yeah, that, that actually uh, gives a little support, yeah, doesn't it? It's a little bit big for me, but I, my back doesn't uh, need much of a lumbar support. Yeah, and that's what's nice about using a roll towel. You can roll it up to the width or the girth, you know, that you need. Um, right. You don't need, you know, you, and then and then eventually you could fi- buy something more permanent, maybe. Sure. But uh, to start off with. All right. All right. The last one is the one that I really didn't understand. I guess I understand to some extent, but I, I, I keep having patients that will say, okay, you're having back pain. Are you sleeping in bed at night? No, I can't sleep in my bed. I sleep in a recliner. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I don't really understand it to some extent. Do you, I mean, do you have a theory well, on why that is? if their back is got stenosis then i do understand it for sure you know because you're if you got stenosis it's yeah you're rounding out a little bit and, and right and, and it feels better right um i i always thought maybe it had something to do with swelling too that you know if you lay down your back is going to gather fluid at night if you're you know if oh. it's, uh, and and th- in this instance it's actually going to you know Go to your feet. <laughs> well, yeah, there, you, you get that up. So our recommendation is if you're going to reuse a recliner, yeah, definitely have it up. I would actually take it back as far as you can. Yeah. And even in this instance, then, you may use a throw pillow or That's, a roll towel right. in your low back. So you're, you're not completely rounded out. And I'm going to do this because it's a lot easier. Put it in there first. Get it adjusted. Oh, yeah. And then, but, yeah, the, the further you go back, the more, and I, I always do this on sure. time. Um, see, this is this pillow is a little bit big. Too much, for me. so then you might yeah. use a roll towel yeah. instead. Yeah, and actually, I use one of those a different type, a uh, uh, memory foam. Oh, thing. you do. Yeah, that really works well. Everyone's back's a little different, and it depends on your chair, how firm, uh, how old your chair is. So there is not one particular support that's going to work for everyone, unless it's adjustable, which we haven't found one of those yet. And, you know, what I try to recommend to people is that as their back pain improves, try to go back into the bed. Um, exactly. But there's people that never make it back there. It seems like they they stick with this. And so yeah, usually we find it in, in older people. Right, they, right. They just, they, they've been sleeping in their recliner for years. Yeah, and <laughs> they probably get done watching, used to get done watching Johnny Carson. They just fall asleep and... <laughs> If you, if you know who Johnny Carson is, you're one of us, the yeah. old people. So, <laughs> All right, those are three suggestions. Uh, you know, give them a shot, especially if you're having trouble sleeping at night, and mm-hmm. uh, and, and see if they, you know, can give you a little relief. Because you got to have, in order to decrease your pain, you got to have enough rest. Right. That's, that, uh, that's, that's a big a thing. a lot of healing occurs. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so thanks for watching, everybody. Very good.